Hi guys, welcome back. This is Rob with Deluxe Gaming. Welcome back to our Ship and Bottle series, episode 19. All right, here we are with Pluto. As everybody knows, since you watched our last episode, our last exciting episode where we had all of our drills operating um, at the same time and pumping in tons of iron. Uh, on the last episode, we also named our ship Pluto, the god of the underworld. Thank you again, Joshua Knapp, for the name. Also, we began working on Nugget version 2. Actually, I don't think it's going to be Nugget. I think uh, I think we're going to pick something a little bit more themed along the lines of the Greek gods, since we're sort of on that track now. Um, apparently, Pluto had a dog. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to the community to remind me of the dog's name. I know the dog's name, but if anybody can think of the dog's name, uh, they can let me know. I'll give you a hint. He may or may not have had three heads. And it's kind of fitting in terms of the build because the modular ship will have three possible convenient modules. One will be a miner, one will be an assembler, and one will be a disassembler. So kind of fun, kind of neat. But in any case, we are doing really well here. Now our refineries are now in back, back in full operation. I just set up the uh, assemblers to be uh, assembling again. So let's just go to our ass menu. <laughs> Uh, the as menu, uh, we are building lots and lots of interior plates, lots and lots of steel plates, and of course, lots and lots of construction components. Uh, now, because our refineries are working full time and our assemblers are working full time, we're going to have a problem because this big old power generator, the nuclear reactor, um, although right now is doing okay, only has, let's just take a look here. has eight hours of fuel at its current pace and we want to you know not only operate at its current pace but possibly increase its pace because now that we have the ability to mine that much iron i want to be able to refine it and of course assemble crap with it too at the same time so in order to do that we are going to be on the lookout for more uranium and this beast unfortunately is not going to be our uranium miner we need to build a new miner because <coughs> uh that's kind of what where our old miner is now unfortunately if you missed that episode it was a sad moment uh this is nugget nugget is currently in pieces so we need to rebuild our new ship here which will be the dog which of course somebody in the community is going to remind me of the name simple simple homework project go look it up okay so uh we are going to continue on we need to make sure that we have it has a merge block on it that will connect to the other parts of the uh, <coughs> mergeable pieces it's going to connect to, as well as connectors, so that we can connect it all together. Okay, so let's get our ass in gear and start working on this. Okay, so we want to put in our, uh, whatchamacallit, our cockpit right away. Get that set up. Oh, I guess we were already set up for that. Uh, we also want to think about some colors for this puppy. It's probably going to be similar to Nugget. I don't know, unless somebody has some better ideas for colors. It's probably going to be similar to Monsieur Nugget, which now Nugget was kind of... No, no, we're going to do something a little bit more manly. I'm not sure yet. I know Baby Blue is not the answer. <laughs> uh, so, but for now, you know, we just want to get her built. So, all right, let's get our cockpit in there. Oh, we can't build... Okay, so we, we need interior plates for that. That's why. All right, so let's go load up. Yeah, we were completely out of steel plates, like not one left. Uh, so we had to start building those. All right, okay. All right, so let's get that in, like so. Now we had a couple. You know, I I hate building ships where you can't sit in the cockpit and see where you're going. So we may change the front to accommodate. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm torn. You know, this connector has to be there, but it's so damn ugly. I, I hate it. Like, it takes up so much space. We could put the merge block on top and then have the connector on the bottom. Uh, you know, I didn't think this through very well. I think for now, we're just going to get get this on here. Let's, let's maybe raise it up a little bit more so that... Uh, uh, it's gonna make it really bottom heavy, but you know these 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 
these ships that have the merge blocks on them, so the mergeable ships, are, are just generally heavy. The modular ships. And that was the reason why, in the first place, we chose not to build one. Because they're, they're so clunky. Okay, I'm actually going to remove these blocks here. And we're going to place the... Yeah, so it'll be nice and easy to dock the ship up with the other blocks. But, uh... See, I don't, I don't know if I like that connector on the bottom, eh? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Let's just uh, quit messing around here and let's just build this damn thing. Okay, I think maybe we might do the connector... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Actually, what we could... No, that won't work either. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Let's uh, forget that. You know, let's uh, just move forward. Okay, well, we got to be careful when we place our forward firing thrusters. And I want to have four of them if possible. Okay, so let's get some large steel tubes. Oops. Okay, yeah, whatever I can carry. Uh, two, that's not going to work. All right, we need to be able to take more than that. We'll just take, I don't know, 20 of those. Perfect. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, you know, got to be careful putting your... Oh, my, I still can't build these? I have large steel tubes. I'm crazy. Hold on. Ah. Whoa, I don't need that many. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go. So, yeah, you gotta be careful. I still can't place them. I just can't put them there. That's weird. Why can't I put them on the top? That's totally bizarre. Okay, so let's build... Let's just get more of the, the blocks in here. Actually, you know what I'd like to do is I want to get a medium cargo container. Yeah, I think we'll do the medium... We'll place it in the in there, but because okay, so the connector is going to be on the bottom, which means it's going to be a tube that comes back here, and then so it's going to go tubing is going to go right beside there, and then underneath, and then go up into the cargo container. So it has to be a large tube. You'll notice it, there is a connector position for a uh, door for both a small tube and a large tube. We want it available for the large tube because this thing. Um, Although a small tube is really good for mining, for assembling you want a large tube. Um, that way all of the uh, the uh, parts used for build ships, uh, to build ships can go through the tubing. Otherwise it can't. Uh, uh, or it goes through fine, but not the parts. Okay, so we're going to put that there and then we're going to... Can we, still, can we still not build? Okay, so I see we can do it. There and actually that'd be okay. I know we're kind of just doing this on the fly, but and but you know we're just we're improvising as we go here. We might do things a little differently later. I don't want it to look exactly the same as Nugget too, so I want to have kind of an interesting new design. All right, okay, I I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, so let's. I want to have the thrusters kind of balanced throughout the ship. I don't want to have them all in the. Same. Okay, I can't place... I see. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to have all the thrusters, you know, like I could do all four thrusters down right here. It'd be okay. Uh, but realistically speaking, if you're really building the ship and it really mattered, and it might matter more later on, I don't think it matters too much right now where you place your thrusters. Especially in a small ship like this, it just... I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Although, as a miner, it might. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what am I doing? Right. I just want to put... just want to put a couple more small blocks here. Yeah, we may... Ch we're probably going to change these small blocks to uh, more integral parts, like, uh, you know, reactors or... Um, so I'm trying to think here at the same time. We might change them to more integral parts like uh, the uh, gyroscopes, etc. But right now... Okay, so we want to have four thrusters in each direction. So the challenge here is to place the four without it, number one, looking really stupid. 
Uh, number two, making it practical. I guess that would sort of be more number one. If you've been watching me, you know that I like to have things pretty darn practical. Okay, so those two are back, and then these two are back. Okay, looks kind of weird right now, but it'll all make sense later. Maybe. Or we'll just scrap the whole design and start over, because we do that too. And I'm sure you guys really love that. Okay, so uh, I'm okay with getting that started. Let's start actually putting some of this together so that we have some basic infrastructure to work from that's not going to fall apart immediately if we accidentally grind it. So in order to do that, we're just going to actually finish off a couple pieces. Yeah, we're probably, you know, I, I think we'll just take this one out for now. Thruster components, uh, displays, motors. I hope we, you know what? I Oh, right, we still have nuggets. So we can disassemble nugget if we don't have any of these other parts. But I, I think we're probably going to be okay. So motors... Yeah, we don't need 69. I'm, <laughs> I'm so used to building the, the big stuff now that, you know, these little things, holy crap, like it doesn't use any parts whatsoever. Uh, construction components, yeah, we don't need 100 of those. There's 10 of those. Uh, displays, we don't need that many, I don't think even. And what else did we need? Uh, thruster components, we'll just take 10 of those too as well. Okay. That way we can partially finish off Right, computers and bulletproof, oh, bullet, bulletproof glass, I don't know if I've got any of that. Okay, so, it's fine. Finish off these two thrusters. And the sooner we get these thrusters built, oh, baby blue. <laughs> the curse of the baby blue, it keeps coming back. The reason it keeps coming back is because it's the first color on my palette. So, <laughs> every time I start up, oh, it comes back with the baby blue. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We will fix it though, because it's going to make us angry. Every time we see something turn baby blue, we're going to be complaining about it. And I know how much you guys love it when I complain, but that's how it's going to be. Okay, so we need some computers. And uh, interior plates, computers, and bulletproof. Let's get those done. Uh, bulletproof, I think we need quite a bit. Oh, I think we've got enough. Uh, bulletproof and computers. Just bring a bunch of those. They're pretty light anyway. So if you guys ever have a question, oh, I guess I need way more bulletproof. Wow, that thing uses a lot for small. Wow, interior plates and bulletproof. Let's just finish that off. That off. If you guys ever have any questions about how I do the conveyor systems or would like more information on uh, how to set up your ships for doing conveyors, I, I really like working with the conveyor systems and I have a lot of fun with it and I've done some really crazy designs outside of here. So if you do have any questions and would like me to do some videos on maybe how-tos for the conveyor systems or the industrial, just let me know. I would be happy to put something together. I, I really like doing it anyway. You know, like I could do an actual uh, how-to video just for uh, industrial systems and how to set up a good flow with the quirkiness of space engineers. Uh, that's half the battle is just trying to figure out because space engineers in its current alpha state doesn't always the conveyor system doesn't always move around bits like you would expect or think they should so uh, I do have answers to many of those questions that new people might have when it comes to those systems but I'm not going to go over all of it during this series uh, we'd, I'm trying to keep the episodes down to 30 minutes now so uh, it can be uh, the conversations I, I'd really have to build something specific to show you how it works. So if you do have any questions about it, please let me know. I would love to do some videos on that. If, if I do get enough requests, I, I will definitely do it. And I, you know, right now I don't have a lot of viewers, so I probably won't, but uh, you never know, right? Either way, I might do it for fun. I don't know, but I uh, no stuff like that I would do for you guys. Uh, not, so, not as much for me, but more for you, right? Okay, so we've got uh, Four on the starboard, four on the port side for thrusters. We're just going to build those so that they're intact and they're not going to fall apart on us randomly. We're not going to worry too much about aesthetics yet. Uh, I am thinking about placement uh, aesthetically. I'm thinking about it. it. It's on my mind. In other words, when I'm placing a thruster here, like I said, I'm not placing them all together so that you know it kind of looks monotone. I'm trying to make it a little bit more interesting than that. 
Um, but I am not really thinking too far in the future in terms of what the final product of the ship is going to look like. So I'm sure it's going to look quite different than what you see right here, right now, so far. When it's done, you're going to be like, wow, is that the same ship? Holy crap. But that's the process. That That is the process. You know, some people like to maybe draw out a little bit more formal plans um, when they're building. Me? No. You know what? I, I, with the function in mind, and that's priority, you know, it's a function. I'm, I try to make sure that that is dealt with. Whoa. For some reason, I stopped holding there. It's weird. Um, I, that's the most important thing for me. Uh, get the function down. So it's a modular ship. We built the two most important modular pieces in the front. Now I want to be sure that it's got some functionality. Uh, in other words, I want to get the tubing, the conveyor tubing set up right away, and I want to get the thrusters set up right away, as well as uh, a, a reactor so that if for some reason, like you saw in the end of the last episode, if for some reason something comes loose and this thing starts floating away, I have a way to just power it up and secure it again because it's really frustrating to have, you know, something like this come apart and then boom, you're, you're, you're screwed. And, and besides that, I think I'm going to have to remove this piece in order to put that tubing on. Uh, like I'm going to have to remove the, uh, the uh, landing gear here that is secured on to put the tubing on so that it connects to everything. And in order to do that, and when I do that, I'm going to have to cut that piece off and it's just going to float away. So I have to get those uh, thrusters on first. Okay, so two, two. So we've only got two forward thrusting, th <laughs> thrusting right now, uh, but we might add more on the side. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I just want to get at least a sampling of each direction on first before I get too crazy about anything else. There we go. Uh, these guys, yeah, they're probably going to have to be... You know what? We're going to do it like that this time. We're going to have lots of lots of stuff on the bottom of the ship so we're gonna kind of you know make it look like the thrusters are actually coming out of the thrusters so I don't know it'd be kind of neat looking I think anyway and yeah, we're gonna need some more thruster components and then that's one two three four so one direction covered two three four so we need to get top firing thrusters Okay, uh, let's do one, two. So we got our top side, we got our port and starboard, that's three. Got our forward, that's four. Got our downward, that's five. We need one more, which is our rear firing. Now these are probably gonna change. I just wanna get them on. Well, they may not change, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and I was thinking maybe we'd use uh, we we'll use some large thrusters back here, actually, for that. So let's... Ah, well, how, how do we do this? We could do an ejector coming out of the bottom, or... Yeah, you know what? Let's do an ejector coming out of the bottom, too, as well. And we can do that just for ore. So that's actually a great way. So if I just want to dump out ore, I can uh, use the ejector. All right, let's show you here. So we'll just flip that. All right. And then we need the tubing piece throw that there done let's finish those off construction components all right let's get some thruster or uh, yeah thruster components and construction components okay good so the reason I'm putting this in is first because uh, of course I want to build some blocks around it this way I know it's covered. So our tubing is there, awesome. Let's get some more blocks in here. We'll just finish those off. It's so nice to build a small ship. It's been such a long time since we built a small ship. I keep building all these big, big, big blocks and on the hardest difficulty setting, it takes so long. So this is just like, it's a treat. It's a huge treat. And it takes no parts whatsoever to put this stuff together. So yes, uh, in, in correction to what I was saying before, there is definitely a use for having small ships and uh, drills on small ships just because it is so fast to build them. So in an emergency, we're, all, we're not quite having an emergency here, but in a situation where you need to get like uranium quickly, of course, 
Oh, that's big. I love it. Well, that looks that looks pretty awesome, actually. And we could uh, we've already got our cargo in there. You know what? Let's cut that down a little bit so that it's not going to be so big. We don't want to make this thing too long if we don't have to. If I, you know, if we can just make it. Whoa. <laughs> And that's why we finished building those parts. So that... No, uh, the reason, sorry, the reason I'm cutting this down is because I don't want that engine sticking out too far. We st we're still in kind of a semi well, it's a pretty, pretty confined place. And we're going to be adding on, like, this thing's going to merge on to, say, a mining module in the front, which is got already going to make it very long. Okay, I uh, just boiled myself over top of the thruster. Oh, that hurt. Okay, I'm back down to 74 health. Uh, all right. All right. Yes, that is a solid reminder to build a medical bay. Guess what we're doing soon? Building a medical bay. All right, so we're going to put a large thruster here and maybe, maybe a couple small ones Oh, I don't know. That might be too much, eh? I don't know. Maybe set it up so that we can turn off the large thruster and just use the small ones if we're doing delicate work. I don't know. I don't know. Or just have all of them on. Whatever. This thing's going to be a power hog. Speaking of power hog, we need to set up our power system. Uh, I think for this ship, we're probably going to need... What do you think, eh? Large reactor? Let's see how big this thing... Oh, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. Uh, uh, yeah, this thing's so big, though. Oh, I just... I don't like the size of it. We could... No, no, we can't do that. No, you know, we're not We're not going to do that. Uh, I know it seems wasteful and a pain in the ass, but we're just going to use smalls. Yeah. Uh, energy is low. That thruster. Oh, okay. That thruster is going to be the death of me. The the big thruster. So I was at 100% health. I am now down to 74% health. Woohoo! Ah, living on the edge. All right. That's not so bad right now. Fortunately, somewhere, somewhere, somehow, mysteriously, we were brought back up to a 100% health after a patch. Um. So, and we were at 76% before that. So we would be around 50% technically now at this point with uh, with that little boo-boo okay so let's put a couple reactors per side and we'll see how our power is after that it we may need to beef it up we could attach these to the We could attach these reactors to the uh, conveyor system, but I'm not going to bother with that. Or should we? No, no, let's not bother with that. Well, normally I would. I, I just uh, I don't like it because there's four of them, right? So that means we got to keep uh, we got to keep uranium in each one of these in order to make. But on the other side of it, we can control our power. So if we find that three is good, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea why we're doing that. We're, we're just going to do it. I think that'll be fine. We're going to have to restock on, on all sides. That's fine. Let's, we just need to get this built. Okay, so... Oh, wow. We re that used a lot of con thruster components, so let's get that. And <laughs> we might start building our medical bay while we're, uh, while we're doing this. Oh, medical components. Let's throw some of those in our inventory. I don't even know where I'd build it. I think we need to build it on the other side. And we need to build it on a floor on the other side. Because I think the medical room should be, like, right here. But, you know what? Let's just put these back for now. I, I, try, I get so involved in trying to do everything all at once. Let's just get this ship done. It's already come together. Look at that. I actually don't mind the blue right now. Uh, more large steel tubes. Okay, get that done. Awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be pretty. This will be my very first 
no, sorry, it's not my very first modular ship, um, but it is going to be unique in that this will be the first modular ship where I'm using the connector to connect everything together. So my previous modular ships that I've used before or built before, I never had a connector. I always, you know, unloaded using the old-fashioned methods of dropping off uh, all your junk from the actual modular piece. So what I mean by that is that the old modular system that didn't have the connector, you would have all of your cargo container and everything on the module piece, and then your module piece would be huge, right? Whereas in this, you can actually have everything funnel into this connector, go up into your cargo container, and then you can use that same connector to dump everything off. It's just a, a different way to do it, right? Okay, so good, good. So let's finish off these guys, get these small thrusters done, and then we can technically, we can get this thing, some power into this thing so that it's stable and remove that, remove the uh, landing gear in the bottom so that we can actually put in our tubing, our conveyor tubing. And like I said, we are using large tubing, so it's going to be big and ugly on the bottom. <laughs> also makes it a little bit more delicate on the bottom too, so you got to be careful while you're flying it. We could shield it with some, some armor blocks, and we might just yet. I, I don't know. It all depends. Really, it's about appearance for me. And, we, and also, I don't want it to be too bulky. Uh, we have to keep the size in mind here. Size does matter. At least that's what... Uh, never mind. That's what my wife tells me. I don't know. Okay. Totally inappropriate. Okay. Good. I think we're good to go for throwing. Okay, so let's go get some large steel tubes and whatever we need to finish. Uh, oh, everything. Reactors, steel tubes, metal grids, motors, computers. Okay, so let's start with... Let's just put those away. Uh, we're going to get... We need a motor... Well, we're going to need a few. Uh, we're going to need some metal grids. We're going to need uh, computers. There we are. Take a bunch of those. They're light. Uh, what else did we need? We need uh, reactor components. So we'll just take 10 of those. Oh, and large steel tubes. Awesome. Okay. Technically, oh, well, we could use a, we should throw a gyroscope on here really quick, too. Yeah, yeah, we, we should. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we're not going to be able to steer this sucker. Gyroscope. The magical piece of equipment. It is such a magical piece of equipment. It does something mysterious, and we're not quite sure how it does it. It is able to stabilize an entire ship and make it so that you can rotate it in every direction without the help of thrusters. It is a beautiful piece of equipment. All right, second reactor. So technically now we can throw in some uranium. And because we just want to run this in low power mode right now, we can do just that. So we're going to take just, we'll just take two. Two kilograms of uranium pop that in here and then we'll quickly build the build one of the gyroscopes I want you know I want the gyroscopes to be built in a more of a shielded place so I think we're gonna build we'll build the gyroscopes right here whoops <laughs> got a little excited okay so let's build those that's fine. Good. Oh, that'll look good. Yeah. Well, they're going to be kind of hidden. You know, it's not the kind of... You don't... Your gyroscopes don't need to be sticking out. There's absolutely no reason for that. We'll get that built. Good. Uh, yeah, the gyroscopes, like, we don't need to fuel them or anything like we do with the nuclear reactors. Good, good, good. That looks good. Awesome. Let's finish this guy up. And yes, I know we still need to build some more thrusters. We're going to need more uh, 
top firing and I think bottom firing thrusters as well as forward thr firing thrusters in order to stay balanced. Uh, I'm just trying to get it to a point where we can... Oh, still plates. Okay. Whoa. All right. Time to recharge. Yeah, so that's what, that was another thing I was thinking about doing is setting building a ship that just uses batteries. You know, why not? You know, set up some kind of solar station uh, that all it does is recharge batteries and use that to, uh, and just, you know, it, your modules. Your modules can contain the new battery. And when you dock it, it recharges the battery. Wouldn't that be cool? Kind of a neat concept. Maybe we'll do that. But not right now. Because, <laughs> you know, conserving time as well as... Uh, and uh, time and uh, resources in order to make this happen for you guys in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, some more of those. And gyroscopes should be ready to go. And then we can unplug it from the landing gear. Perfect. <laughs> oh, they actually come together pretty quick now, don't they? I'm hoping that that large or that medium container is big enough. It should be for when we're constructing, because we won't be able to put a fair amount of uh, stuff in here. And we're going to have to build another dock on our uh, ship so that we can dock this ship to it and be able to move stuff around. Now, I'm kind of hoping that with all the drills on our on, on Pluto now that we can uh, start freeing up, freeing up enough space to actually build some out a shell for the ship, because it's like... It's like we built the skeleton. Now we need to actually put some skin and meat on the ship. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick time check. Just give me one sec here, guys. All right, I'm back. I just wanted to check to see where we were for time so that uh, we didn't run out of time. I wanted to kind of keep these around 30 minutes now, just at the request of, of, of a couple of viewers, personal messages that I was that I had received. Um, just to keep them in about 30 minutes because uh, the hour-long videos may be not as appealing to you guys, and I apologize for that. I, I didn't know. Like, I don't mind long videos if I'm sitting and playing something, but you're right. You know, if, if, uh, if a video... If, if I'm not actually sitting and playing, and I'm just watching a video, you know, it's maybe... An hour might be just a little too long, but half an hour seems to be... A couple people, you know, at least have told me that uh, half an hour is, is okay. Like, it, it's tolerable. <laughs> That's maybe not a good way to put it, but... Uh-oh. I just... Damn. I just hit the uh, thrusters again. Okay, so our ship is stable. We can cut it off, and we're going to call it an episode after that. We just want to be sure that we're good to go here. Cut it off, and is it flyable? <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. So that's it. I will see you in episode 20. This is great. Hold on. Let's just pan around. Let's take a look at it. Actually, I don't mind the blue now. It's, it's, we're going to recolor it. And of course, it's not even close to being finished. But it's starting to look cool already. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I'm not sure about having that uh, connector on the bottom. All right. Well, we're going to deal with that in the next episode. All right. Cheers, guys. See you soon.